Welcome back. This is John Locke, and today I'm sharing with you a tool. It's the FAQ page, JSON LD schema generator. So a lot of people talking about structured data. Uh, structured data is something that you can uh, use to uh, give Google more information about your page. You can always test that in the Google structured data testing tool. Uh, you can either type in a URL here, you could put it in a code snippet with this testing tool to tell you if your code is valid. So one of the things that is a recent uh, addition to Schema, which you can find more about at schema.org, which is right here, schema.org, has all kinds of different things. One of the things that's in here is the FAQ page. So this is a, a bit of a new thing. So this is a web page specifically for FAQs. And this little tool will help you generate the schema data for that. So Google can better parse it. So it's pretty simple. Uh, you type in your question and then you type in your answer. And you can add different FAQs. And uh, what happens is it'll spit out this, a bit of code right here. Where I'm embedding this is in the head of the HTML pages that are FAQ pages. I And this is one of the things that I can do because uh, I custom code it. Yeah, uh, I'll put this code in there and it helps uh, people have an FAQ page that Google can read this uh, data. So here's an example. So let's say that we're going to make some questions. Uh, why is the sky blue? And this is just this is just for uh, demonstration purposes. This is <laughs> now this is just to show you what this does. Uh, that's all. Okay, so. Now that we've got that, let's go ahead and copy this uh, FAQ schema. It's copied. Go ahead and put it in the structured da data testing tool. And uh, let's run the test on this. So as you can see, it shows the FAQ page type, main entity. And each of these is a little breakdown question. Why is the sky blue? Accepted answer type, answer text, because. Anyway, Google will see these sorts of things. And uh, in, in certain cases, it will show this in the search results. If you're searching for your FAQ page uh, specifically, it will show these. Uh, let me see if I can find a good example of this. Okay, so here's an example of this. And I don't think that they're using this specific tool. This is from my friends at Red 8 Interactive. They have a FAQ page here, and they are using FAQ page schema here. And it has these little questions and answers. What's WordPress managed hosting? What's fully managed WordPress hosting? As you can see, this is in the Google search results. Let's look at the actual page. So this is the actual page where they have this FAQ schema. Uh, they got your price list. Here's like the little FAQs here. Let's go ahead and put this in the structured data testing tool. Run a new test. Uh, fetch URL. Let's see what we get back. So we have different things. We have web page. It's marked up as a web page. Uh, but also it's got FAQ page. And you can see these are the same questions and answers that we see uh, when we search for this exact uh, page. This is the same stuff that's right there. And that's the same stuff that's in here. So Google will actually show this in the search results in certain cases. So this is one thing that you can use FAQ page schema for. Now, this doesn't mean that every single time that your FAQ page or a page with this type of schema shows up. Um, that you're going to see this, but uh, if people are searching for something specific, this can show up. So 
this is one way the FAQ page schema helps Google understand the content of your page and parse that so it can put it in search results automatically. So I will link all this up in the, sh the description, in the uh, video description, but uh, this is a cool little tool that I found. My name's John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO, and I'm here every single day making videos on SEO, uh, answering questions. So if you have a question, leave it in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer it for you. Uh, and until tomorrow, and until next time, peace.